How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, episode seven of the Zero Overall franchise. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new and enjoyed the content. And if you missed last episode, you know what to do. Top right corner, there's going to be a little banner that comes across the screen. Make sure you go and click that to make to go back and watch the last episode. It was an absolutely amazing episode. I definitely think you guys will love it. So, hopping into today's video let's let's talk about this because you guys could you could see you know we're we are last in our division we are one and 50 so the record is one game better than last year and almost through may we are sitting at you know a pretty heavy loss streak once again but as you guys could see through the the calendar we're they're closer losses than they were last year a lot of the time you were seeing 30s and you know 20s and you know you don't really see that a lot of that there are some 19s there are some 16s on the board but there are a lot closer games there's um six run deficits four run deficits five run deficits um we even lost to the giants by one run here um so you guys can see they're definitely a lot closer so the team is def like it, it's improving you know even the mets we had a one run loss right there as well so um I'm thinking about playing the Braves today. I want to take on Tuki Toussaint, you know, kind of one of their prospect pitchers that they have up in the bigs currently um, in season two. And then I also want to come up against Ronald Acuna. You know, they have Freddie Freeman, Ozzy Albies, um, and some decent young players. So I feel like that's a, this is going to be a good divisional game. I feel like this is a good matchup for this episode's video or epi this episode's game not this episode's video so um we have been definitely scouting um i upgraded one of our scouts again um but you guys can see we're we're making sure we definitely have another good draft class to continue to improve the team but i really don't want to keep this intro going too much longer than it needs to you guys can um you guys you know saw where we are in the division we're 32 games behind we're dead last in every single you know ranking possible so hopefully we can um we can do a little bit better so let's play this game against the braves took you tucson um i'm feeling pretty good about this one you know we're gonna rock the black unis we're in sun trust park hopefully it's not super sunny because when it's super sunny it's like almost impossible to see Ray Almanzar. I don't I don't want to use him again. You know, I feel like using the same pitcher twice in a row can get a, a little um you know, I don't want it to be too repetitive. That's what I'm trying to say. So maybe use Ponce Alvarez. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's we'll uh we'll What? No way. We won. Oh, no, that's hold on. I got to see the box score on this one. So Victor Victor Mesa had three RBIs on the game. Holy cow. Out our pitcher got a double. Victor Victor Mesa had a homer. Okay. What? Let's see. Almanzar went seven innings, allowed one run. Okay. All right, I'll definitely take that. That is, that's awesome. That's insane. Um, another, pff, okay. Another thing is I want to move Humphrey into the closer spot. See if we can um, kind of solidify the back end of the pitching just to make it a little bit better towards the end of the season. But timeout, we won a game simulating. That is insane. This is already, you know, the second best thing that could have happened to us. So let's hop into this game. Mike Fultinowitz versus Poncio Alvarez. We're still going to rock the Black Unis. Um, we have a 10 overall pitcher going today. Not necessarily what I want. Kevin Page is kind of tired. So you know what? We're going to have Captain Thick step in. Um, and then maybe rock like this for now and then i liked having i like having robles and merrill kind of on the bench just in case we need a little bit of a, a bench bat but overall the lineup looks like it's gonna you know it's gonna stay the same and this is what we're looking at they have inciarte swanson freddie freeman josh donaldson at third jose martinez and right albies at second acuna and left weeders and then fultinowitz um, like I said, there's the standings. Not much has changed, even though we won one game. We're dead last in every single category possible, which is hopefully going to change one day. But um, Victor Victor Mesa is number one in caught stealing, apparently, which 
It's kind of weird. I don't. I didn't understand that screen that they just showed us. But hey, this is that's insane. We won a game simulating. Like, what are the odds of that happening? You know, based on last year and so far this year, pretty low. So um, here's the pitching matchup: two and four Fultonowitz, um, or Fultonowitz. I might be emphasizing the wrong part of the name, but a, almost a four ERA. And Victor Victor Mesa is having a pretty solid series. Four for eight, a home run, a triple, a double. I think it said uh, four RBIs, something like that. Three RBIs. So definitely a solid series for him. All right, he's still 2-2 two -two count. Here we go. And he might have poked that just down the line enough. And that's actually going to be a, a double. Oh, oh, man, that is a good start. We're going to leave him at second. A stand-up double to start the inning. That... I, I was thinking it might it might it might drop you know he might have poked it down the line for you know far enough from the right fielder and it, it just kept curving away from him and it works out a double there we go I'll definitely I'll definitely take that to start the game all right we got Captain Thick Arnold Kelly up he's been favoring this slider to start at bats so I might sit on that but other than that he gets hit like I was saying I, I'm pretty sure that was a, a slider as well that got away from him. But we got we got Captain Thick on first, and we got Danilo Prince up to the plate. Which the double play is in play now, which is a little disappointing. But let's see if Danilo can get us a hit. All right, one zero count. Come on here. Let's see if the third baseman can give us the lead. Oh, that's not gonna be hit deep enough to even move Victor Victor over. After the leadoff double, we've gone kind of spoiled, you know, the, the good start to the inning. Unless that drops, and that will. 86 speed is going to be rounding third, and it's going to come home. We have the lead. Clyde Niles delivering with two outs there. The handlebar mustached man. There we go. And to be honest, I thought maybe Albies would have, like, tried to run out to the outfield and dive. But looking at the replay... It's it's a little more obvious why he didn't, but that's 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 a great way not to squander that leadoff double that we started off the inning with. Maverick Moss is up now, and is this gonna drop? Jose Martinez is running to it. It's not, but that's okay. We we got the run. That's all that matters. That's what I want. I, like I like to see. The only thing I'm scared of is we got Poncio Alvarez on the mound, and you know, like I said, he's 10 overall. So this is going to be a rough outing for us. Like that's already a double to start the game. So bat, like leadoff doubles for both teams. Ah oh, man, that's like just as I said, it's gonna it's gonna be tough, you know. After we pitched with Real Menzar last time, who just absolutely wheeled and dealed. He's got both wins for us this season. And now we're going with Poncio Alvarez, who's just getting smacked right now. That's going to move Inciarte to third. And if we don't hurry up, he might... Yeah, what? He's going to score on a... That's what I was literally going to say. And if we don't hurry up, he's going to score from second on that. Victor Victor Mesa has taken his sweet time to throw it in. And look what happens. It's a one-to-one -one ball game on a fly ball to center. Like, that... Oh man, what was that animation? Like I had I had the 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 um throw to the shortstop already powered up and everything. Like he, it should have been a quick throw, but all right, I guess not. And uh that I mean that would have probably scored the run anyways. So I mean, it still would have been a a 1-1 ball game. And let's see if Rain Rodney can make the play here. He does. And to be honest, I guess the grounder from Freeman still would have scored the run, but the way it's scored is a little bit more aggravating than, you know, what, I mean, I would have rather had, you know, the tag up, he makes it the third, and then the grounder, he scores. The fact that he scored from second on a fly ball is super aggravating, so hopefully the defense change, like, our defending changes, and we play with a little bit more urgency. And, uh, this zero speed, he's probably still gonna be thrown out at first, yeah, but, oh man, if he had, like, two speed, he might have actually beaten that out. All right, come on, Rain Rodney, let's get a base hit here. That might actually, oh man, that's a good hit, just hung a little bit too much, and unfortunately, 
is going to be an out. So we all right, come on. He's got he's got some speed. So Alvarez, you got to move it, and we're gonna get the out. Ozzy Albies will not reach on that. So Ronald Acuna Jr. This is who I kind of fear a little bit. You know, they have Freeman, they have Donaldson, and then you have Acuna at the bottom of the order. That is, you know, a decent amount of power there. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I was mentioning. Decent amount of power. The issue was I missed my placement on the fastball, and um, that 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 just that that's why I just yeah I mean I, it's gonna show on the PCI like it's it's a high fastball. Um, all right, come on, 15 speed should be out number three. So we lose the lead we had here in the second, which. It was a bomb. Dead center, 430 feet. Acuna just absolutely smashed it. And now we're losing 2-1. to one. So let's see if we can get our bats going. We have the top of the lineup back up here in the third. So um, let's see how it goes. Hopefully we can turn this around now. And Victor Victor Mesa gets hit. So, hey, I'm, I'm liking that. Good speed on first. Lead off the inning. Okay. All right, we're going to... Uh, we're going to send Victor Victor Mesa here. I check swung at the first pitch. That kind of got me in a little bit of trouble. And th uh, stay there. Stay, stay a second. Stay a second. I almost tried to send him to third because I thought that was going to get by the catcher. But it worked out. We got a guy on second now. 1-1 one, one count. All right. And that's going to move him to third? Maybe. 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 Double play. Why did he run back to second? The ball. Oh. <sighs> 70 speed I didn't think he was going to swing at that that's why I didn't say anything at first but he swung at a ball that was way outside way in the dirt and like look at that on the PCI that is yikers and uh, that turned out to be out number 2 come on Maverick Moss make it and there we go we got a 1-2-3 inning for us I've been, I've been swinging at a lot of first pitches. I probably should uh, be a little bit more patient. But to be honest, he's been throwing a lot of strikes the first couple pitches. So, And that's just, ah, that's not going to drop. That's a 1-2-3 inning. All right, Freddie Freeman's up. This most definitely will be one of the last batters that Poncio Alvarez faces. Just by the way his energy's been going. I have a feeling he's going to hit yellow this inning. So I'll definitely take him out once he hits that. That's a strike. Um, oh, man. It's probably going to be a leadoff walk here. It is. All right. Josh Donaldson's up now. That's a good start. That's a good start. Not bad. Maybe a double play here. If we could go a little bit quicker, we still turn it and the leadoff walk doesn't hurt us at all that's that's perfect that was like a pitcher perfect double play a little slow on the turn a little slow but you know what we still got it rain rodney all right come on bud we need a hit from you 0 for 1 on the day and that that should be a base hit for sure five speed that's pretty quick for us so uh that's not a bad person to have on the base paths, uh, like energy-wise at the end of the inning. So we're going to bring in Sean Robles to pinch hit. Perfect timing. Got some pop off the bat. Let's do this. Guy on first, this is what we need. This is a good time to bring him in. I'm waiting for my pitch. I'm not, I'm not wasting more opportunities. Are you serious? I literally was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to waste any more opportunities. And... I wish I could see the PCI because I bet you I am just, just on top of that. Any other spot, that's a base hit. All right, so we bring in the other Robles, the reliever, see if he can uh, lock it down for a couple innings. What is this ump seeing? Is he, like, just not about it? Because that changeup was heavily in the strike zone, but it doesn't matter. We still get the out, but that's, I think, again, you know, these umps just... You know, if we throw a ball, the next pitch definitely is going to be a ball, I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely the eighth spot in uh, the lineup. The eighth spot in the lineup. Matt Wieters is up. He's going to hit it into the shift. Rain Rodney's there. And for the second time, he's going to ground out to the second baseman. Easy one, two, three inning. Still 
a one run game we we got to change that back to the top of the lineup for us victor victor's up he's gotten on base both times Let's see if we can keep it going and that should be a gap shot and that with where it's located ender and ciarte has got an arm but this is a lead off triple Oh, that is that is a great start. Victor Victor series is like six for, I want to say nine now. Nice, and he's up there in what triples? I think that's his fourth on the day. So now he's into the top, the top spots. Okay, alrighty. That actually might bring him into. It's Ender and Ciarte though. It's all right. Eighty six speed. Please, no, 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 no. Get in. Yes, there we go. It is a tie ball game. Pepito hits it just deep enough. Like, I'm talking, if it is any closer to the infield, that's an out. Like, Ender and Ciarte's got a decent arm. So, that's a good, good run right there. Tie ball game in the sixth. Our right, last strike of the inning, possibly. And actually, it's not going to be because Danilo's going to just rip it up the middle. Ooh. We got zero speed on first. Nice, but it's a two-out single. Keeps the inning alive. It's perfect. So here we go. One. Nah, that's not what I needed. Alrighty, so heading into the bottom of the sixth, we have five hits on the game. They only have two. And Johan Camargo is going to come in. So it's looking like Fultonowitz's day is done. What are these umps seeing? That is a good pitch. That is a really good pitch. That is a strike. Oh, please, Yancey, I need you here to make this play. Uh, a leadoff triple just like us, and this is not good. And, like, I tried to get under it, and he just was like, no, 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 I'm good right here. And uh, that is just, oh, man, not what we needed, you know? Like, we just got back into the game. This is a situation where the oh. player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, Step up first. Get you Step up first. Ball. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know. I thought maybe he was going to go home with it, but I guess not. I guess not. Just fouled it off. Oh. Gets the strikeout. Oh, yes. That is. Ooh, that's, 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 that's big. That's big. Freddie Freeman, though. They want me to intentionally walk them, get the bases loaded. You know what? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. All right, here we go. So Josh Donaldson is up though. So it it this it could be really really bad. It definitely could be. And it's it's gonna at least score two. That's a that's a two run hit right there. I mean. Ah. And as long as this doesn't score a run, I'll be okay. Cause ah. Ooh, now we're in a little bit, little bit of a pickle, little bit of a pickle. We got Acuna up now. And I know my pitcher's tired, but down and away. Get this, get the out at second. Come on, turn it, get it. Yes, perfect. There it is. Innings over. Damages. Finished, stopped, good. Into the seventh, only a two-run deficit. This game is going back and forth. I don't like it. I just want us to get the lead and keep it for once. Like, can we do that? Change that. Make it one for three. Off the pitcher, he's going to recover, and that's going to be... Why isn't he running that out? Oh, uh, he's got six speed. That's That could, you know, possibly do something with it. Possible, possible. So two up, two down here. Rain Rodney's one for two on the day. See if you can make it two for three. Mm, just, just under that inside pitch, and we're gonna go one, two, three. Unfortunately, and uh, we're gonna have to take Robles out, bring in another pitcher, and then pinch hit from him, him in the next. All right, Darby Jarvis is coming in. I know you guys love him because his name is amazing, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh my God. Ooh, we just blew that one by Matt Wieters. That's what I'm talking about, Darby. 
Jonathan Davis. He was on the, the Blue Jays last year, so now he's pinch hitting. I guess. Or he was part of a double switch. I, I don't know. But he's in the game now. 84 speed. Maverick Moss make the play at first. Ooh, showing off the arm at short. There we go. And can Captain Thick show the, the athletic ability? Oh, he's got some speed about him behind the plate there. He might need the oxygen tank after that one, but uh, you know what? He got he got up, got the mask off, got the out, and now we're hit, heading into the eighth. We got six outs left. We're gonna bring in Stuart Merrill to pinch hit here. The Marlins, they're they're bad. We can't be having them win it. So we gotta give we gotta give the Braves the calls here. And Stuart Merrill, 69 speed, is gonna be on first. That's that's nice. That's nice. So uh, that's ooh, this is nice. That's a good way to start the inning. We got Victor Victor up, who's having an unreal series. Is that is that drop in? It's not. Mm, just hung up a little bit too much. One pitch on its way. Oh, it's through the legs. Can we get Merrill to third? It should be good enough to get him to third. Yes, it is. Perfect. First and third. Captain Thick delivers with a two-out rip through the pitcher's legs. Uh, who are we going to bring in with our blazing speed? Uh, Ray, I know you pitched yesterday. You got us the win. You're probably a little tired. You're on. This is your time to shine right now. Danilo Prince. Please deliver. Woo. The one home. Mm. Oh, man. No. Yikes. All right, so who, who are we going to bring in? Lee is not ready, so it's looking like Dario Lenar. All right. So no runs this inning. That's that's goal number number one there. And then once we get to the get to the dish, we got to score two. That's a good start. That's a nice little strikeout. Dansby Swanson's striking out, I think, for the second time today. Freddie Freeman's up. All right. This is uh, the dangerous part of the lineup for sure. That's a good start. Vulcan change. All right. All right. O2. Okay. All right. Hit him back with the change. Let's do it. Oh, baby, Dario Leonard is wheeling and dealing on the mound. Okay, not where I wanted it. Definitely not where I wanted it, but you know what? I'll take it. Full count now, two outs. Hit him with that running fastball. There we go. Rain Rodney's there. And that's an out. Number three. We got goal number one completed. No runs allowed. I see that we have the top two batters for strikeouts in the major leagues. Top three. Please stop showing that at the bottom of the screen. I don't want to see that. So, Daryl O'Day is coming in. He's got a 2-1-6 ERA. Nine saves on the season. And uh, this is do or die time. So, we, we didn't allow a run. We're down two here in the ninth. Here we go. Come on. Clyde Niles. I thought that was bomb. That looked like it came off the bat so well. That's why I was that's why I said his name the way I did cuz I was like, "Ho, ho pause. We may have just hit a bomb, but unfortunately, I was just a little bit early." All right, 2-0 count. I'll take it. That's a, that's a good start. Hate to do it, but I've got a question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. That should drop. Please drop. It's not going to. Oh, man. Last chance. The Alabama outfielder himself, Yancey Esmond. I need a base hit, dude. I, oh, I need it. We need it. Come on. That's not it. That is going to be the game. Man, we were winning 1-0. Gave it up. I mean, one run, you know, it's not, it's not an amazing lead. It definitely isn't. But, you know, we came back and then we just gave it up again. Again. That is, ooh, that is a disappointing, a disappointing loss. I mean, to be honest, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't a horrible outing by the team. We had seven hits. Like, that's not bad. 
uh, our 10 overall starting pitcher went a, a solid like what four innings, and he left with a no decision. It was it was just that sixth, you know. We we just uh, that leadoff error, and then we had another mistake where I probably should have got the out at first, and I accidentally uh, powered up the throw home. So, a couple mental lapses. One of them was my fault. The other one, Yancey Esmond just sucks out in left field. Apparently, um, it kind of ruined it for us. But overall, not a bad not a bad outing. We also we also won our second game of the season based on a sim. So. You know, to be honest, hey, I can't complain at all. So let's let's finish out the month. Let's see how we do against I think the Blue Jays and the Phillies. I think is how we have the rest of the season, uh, rest of the month lined up. Um, and yeah, so we have the Blue Jays and the Phillies. Let's just quickly go through see if we can get another win. We don't. We actually get smacked by the Phillies and by the Blue Jays. Holy smokes! But you know, two and fifty-six on the year. That's two wins better than what we did last year. The draft is in four days, so that'll be the next episode. We'll have the draft, and we will take on God, not a lot of opponents that I like the looks of. We played the Yankees last year, so I don't really want to play them. So maybe we take on another divisional opponent in the Phillies or the Mets. That's probably what I'm looking at. So either the Phillies or the Mets, leave that in the comment section below. Who you guys think we should play next, Phillies or the Mets? And as, as well, we'll have the draft and see how everybody went. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We got victory number two. And uh, we then lost against the Braves. So it's, it's a bittersweet, bittersweet day. But it, you know what? I'll definitely take it. That means we can add two new players to the team. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace.